Making games is easy. Really, it is. Look, I made push the button. I really did my best. It almost took a whole minute. You can push a button. It's a game. Does it do anything? No, it doesn't. It is just really boring. Making a game that is actually fun, much, much more difficult. So how does one make a game that is not terrible? Come with us on a quest to find the fun in your game. Let me explain. When you play your game in an early state, you might have a good time, you might have a bad time. But in both cases, there is something that works really well and something that does not. You know, every game has a best feature and a worst feature. It sounds trivial, but it is true. Someone felt this needed mathematical proof for some reason. Observe yourself when playing. Find out when you have a good time. Then ask yourself, why is that? If many different features are at play at the same time, you can separate them. Maybe play with only the jump, only the shooting. Turn off animations. Watch only the animations and see if it is still fun. Find out what works and what doesn't. Is the spider even on? We want the players to only enjoy the best stuff we can make. Just imagine what your game could be if you cut the worst 30%. And when you make the player actually play the way that is most fun. Of course, you can try and fix features that are not fun. But honestly, sometimes removing things that do not work is so simple and effective. It is just really hard mentally. And this is why you need a poster reminding you of the sunken cost fallacy. A perfect game isn't a game where there is nothing left to add, but a game where there is nothing left to take away. This approach helps with scope creep as well. Scope creep usually happens when you add more and more features. But honestly, the coolest features can often only be found in the middle of making the game. There's only one solution. For every feature creeping in, one needs to die. If there are not enough resources, in this resources mean your brain. Not everyone can survive. I give this metaphor a 3 out of 10. Okay, the depressing part is over. On the other hand, make the player do what is actually fun. In many games, the fun stuff is somewhere here. And the effective stuff is somewhere here. And you know how players are. Some devs try to forbid the boring stuff. But this is difficult to do. And another boring and effective strat often takes the place. It usually is better to make the fun playstyle more effective. Here is a completely random example. In the game we are making First of Us Fungeon, a trance-inducing fast-paced roguelike that you should certainly wishlist. In this randomly chosen game, you have a dash. And we found it nice, but especially fun when you tackle enemies with it. But then you took a hit from the enemy's face and were in a really bad position. So we made the player invulnerable and refresh it when you kill an enemy. And we made it explode. The moral? Make stuff explode. Wait, the moral? Tackling enemies was fun, but bad. So we made it fun and OP. And now it is our core mechanic. Large stack of spells. <laughs> but for that feature creeping in, we removed the convoluted spell system with a large stack of spells that were piling up in the UI. There is one more source of wisdom you can tap in. A scary power. One only the strongest game devs can handle. Feedback. I can be really devastating and you should listen to it but never take it at face value you might get feedback like make the jump higher and one might think the situation is pretty clear just make the jump a little bit higher and very easily we think about is this even valid what would happen to the game if we did that the whole design might crumble so what this person wanted is likely something entirely different anyway the underlying problem might be somewhere else. So let us concentrate on the things we know. There is a person, and this person said a thing about your game. So well, so good. The person cared enough about your game to give you actual feedback. But we also know the person is unhappy, and this somehow, in some way, relates to the jump. More specifically, if we would make the jump higher, the problem would disappear. But hey, your toe would not hurt if you would remove your leg. So this alone just does not say all that much. Maybe your levels are too difficult. Maybe the person never found that there's a double jump because you did not explain that. And maybe the person felt like the gravity should be lower. Or maybe the feedback really was right word for word and your jump just should be higher. This is one of many possibilities. You might feel like the feedback is uninformed. And of course it is. You know your game very well. People playing your game don't. And it is so easy to get defensive and 
prove the feedback wrong. But when there's feedback, there's an underlying issue. Try to find the underlying issue. Search for what is right in the comment, not for the things that are wrong. And if you really sincerely search for something usable in the comment, decide if you want to do it or not. And it's your game after all. You cannot follow every bit of feedback. Some players just aren't your target audience and some just don't share your vision of the game. You cannot please everybody. Or can you? <sighs> no. But why is that? If you are making an indie game, you cannot do something with mass appeal. Triple A games just do this much better than you ever will. But you still compete against Blizzard and Ubisoft and all those big guys with their money and their skills and you compete for a player's attention. Why should a player play your game instead? Because you fill a niche Triple A studios can't fill. Because you do something that speaks to these players specifically. It is very, very unlikely for an indie to make a game everyone loves. You can try and end up with a game that everyone finds okay, but no one buys. You want to make a game that some players love and other players can hate it. If you don't buy it, I don't care how much you dislike it. You can't super not buy it. That is every single useful thing I can say at the moment. If you liked it, like this video and share it with a fellow game. Bye.